Well, now on your feet at five, were you one of the thousands of people who got a pandemic pet? Well, while it's great that so many animals were rescued last year, now there's a not so happy fallout regarding veterinarians. That's right, there's a shortage both here in Ohio and nationwide. And vet clinics are being overwhelmed with new business, which is pushing wait times to hours. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports on this problem. With COVID, it's gotten so much worse. We never shut down, extremely stressful. And then of course the public stress, you know, there was a lot of patience and understanding early in COVID, but it's just done. Dr. Kari Swedenborg is one of the partners at West Park Animal Hospital. Last year, three veterinarians left, two due to burnout. One vet who left is considering leaving the profession with probably $200,000 worth of school debt. It's just super sad. A common scenario across the nation, an estimated shortage of nearly 7,000 veterinarians in the U.S. The 32 veterinary medical schools produce about 3,200 graduates each year, not nearly enough to cover doctors who retire and the increase in demand from pandemic pets. There's not enough people and not enough shifts, and it's, around, it's really about burning people out. Uh, which we is the last thing we really want to do because then we're going to have even fewer people in the profession. Swedenborg says a lot of clinics had to turn away new clients, but despite working longer shifts, they're still drowning in business. We'll have a five-hour wait by noon. Um, our vets, our staff, were all just exhausted. It's not a new issue in the profession, but one gaining more attention since the pandemic. Schools are addressing it, too. We do have a uh, comprehensive an integrated health and well-being program for our faculty, staff, and students. Something desperately needed because the stress can be deadly. Suicide rate, sadly, has skyrocketed to the top profession, and they say we average three times normal American on that rate, and I personally have known four in the last 10 years. So one theory for the demand is the number of people working from home who notice problems in their pets sooner. The vets hope pet parents understand what they're dealing with and have a little more patience. Being berated and bashed online only adds to the stress and doesn't help anyone. Pet owners, plan your routine care further out and expect that longer wait time. We just don't know when this situation will resolve. And there was just another clinic, uh, Bets in Akron, that had to stop doing public appointments, but they are continuing their rescue plan and they're rescuing 36 puppies this week alone. So they're having to put all their eggs in a different basket to take care of these animals and find them forever homes. Well, so many people are finding out that bringing a puppy home or a little kitten home is much like bringing a baby home and you get a little anxious and your first thing, pick up and call the doctor when you have questions. So hopefully uh, things are gonna start to settle down for everybody getting into a little bit of a groove there. Monica, thank you, great story.